Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time. Uh, we have another story about another female Nigerian artist who is being dragged. It seems like we cannot get this this thing right. Anyway, Nollywood actress Lillian Afegbae has replied people who accused her of sleeping around to buy a Birkin bag. This Birkin bag costs $22,000, which is an estimate of 8 million naira, depending on what exchange rate you're using. It was reported that the actress took to Instagram and showed off the Birkin bag she bought for her birthday, which didn't arrive on time. However, her show off did not seem to go down well with some people as they took to her comment section and alleged she bought the bag by doing the needful. One follower accused her of sleeping around to make money and, lean, and her response to that was stating that there are other legit ways of making money besides sleeping around. Another one accused her that, you know, putting her bag and showing it off is putting a lot of women under pressure. And then she also replied to that person saying, no one needs to be pressure, pressured as everyone needs to move at their own pace. This is her comment to the show off post. I remember when I could only afford a Zara bag. She says, I will never quit my acting career for any man. And then she took to Instagram and got dragged for her mom's involvement. She's just been basically, you know, it, yes. And then she said this year isn't one of my best, but that she still celebrates her 29th birthday. So can people stop stereotyping women at times? Mm. Like, can she afford, can she do something to afford the bag? Mm. Why must she sleep around before mm -hmm. she can afford the bag? Mm. Can we stop using this um, backward mentality? And I know yeah. quite a few people who who unfortunately sleep mm. around. It's not that easy. This thing of I like... I know, but can she find other legit ways to get this bag no, for Even if she slept around it, that sleeping around money would not be more than 5% of this actual... How many men do you this, want to go She don't understand. True. She's not going to have time to act. She's going to have to do it like... She has to even do night job and stand on the road and make it a full time, big time for you to be able to buy a Birkin bag <laughs> off that. So, uh, and okay. I like that. Okay, all seriousness, I like that you brought okay. that up because... For me, it's a perception thing. When mm -hmm. a man does um, such a lavish thing, yes. you don't. You still see it, yes. I have to admit that there's still a lot of people that automatically think you are doing fraud. Fraud and yeah. prostitution is like on the uh, flip sides of, mm -hmm. of one coin. But it's not as much. And when he says, no, I do business, everyone quickly believes. Yeah, but when it comes to women, I think the amount of people who assume what you just mentioned, mm -hmm. that like, or more, you couldn't have Maybe. had in the brains, the mind, or the hustle to, to legitimately get your money is a lot more. And even when the person proves, okay, this is what I do. Like, this is why mm. I do, and this is why I do. And so that's like, mm -mm. Yeah, she still has... you still sleep around. Mm. We've seen that a lot of times. Um, I don't want to mention any names, yes. but we've seen that with a lot of celebrities who have come into the in, have come into the news for mm -hmm. either showing off a luxurious asset that they've um, acquired, mm -hmm. and the same response is there. But I like how she's responded to that. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I like how she's handled it. Mm -hmm. um, a Birkin bag, though, <laughs> for eight million. Because yes. you know what? What for me is the bigger gist is the fact that she was able to qualify to get a Birkin bag. So if you know anything about Birkin bags. Mm -hmm. It's not just anybody who has money that can go and buy a Birkin bag. You have to actually be on a, on a list. I've forgotten what they call it now. It's not a black list, not a white list. There's a name for it, it's quite okay. funny. Something list, and then you have to wait to be approved, to be on their, kind of like the clientele. Yes, it's a serious matter for a bag. <laughs> hmm. Like that, I cannot sleep inside, but anyway. <laughs> Um, okay. You know, you have to join that list and all of that to then be able to purchase a Birkin bag. To me, the brag isn't that she got a bag that's eight million. The brag is that she was even qualified to, to be on a Birkin, um, you know, Blue clientele list. list. For okay. me, that was like the big deal. And I don't know what she does. I have never watched a single thing of this girl. I only started to notice her. When I was working in the um, what's it, in the entertainment industry, and okay. she came for one of the premieres that I was working on, like mm. last year, that was the first time in my life, and I saw that she was extremely stunning. Like this is one of those babes that's not just stunning on pictures. Like if you see her, her body is standing out, her face, that's why you, you and she also has you, a really, yes. really warm personality. Okay. That's when I knew who she was. Till tomorrow, I've not seen her movie anywhere. I don't know what she does for a living. I know she acts, but I don't know what else she does. But if she says she hustles, then she hustles, isn't it? 
like any other study with, it's not okay to stereotype women right. when it comes to um, things they can afford. Because if it was a man who was showing off his wristwatch that he got it for uh, a Rolex million dollars or something, or something. Mm. no one is going to say, oh, you slept with so so women for this. No one is going to throw in that in the first place. So why? what is this? Where is it coming from? I, see, I think a lot of men that think that way are still kind of backward. And it also mm. shows the type of women they have in their lives. They don't have mm. a lot of successful women around them. Mm -hmm. Because if you've seen successful women that have worked for years, you would not see another woman and say she went to sleep to get what she got. Do you understand? Yeah. So it also says the type of people you have around me. I've seen way too many successful people, women that have sleepless nights, yeah. that walk mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. behinds off just to be where they are today. Mm -hmm. So I won't go out there and see a woman. I can even remember there was a time when Ewa was still on the show and um, we were coming to work together. And then we saw this range, um, um, we saw this G-Wagon, and then I was like, I saw the chicken, and I was like, man, that is either she's married to a rich guy, or she's rich, she has a good business going on. And Ewa looked at me like, oh, nice, that <laughs> she likes the fact that I said good. that, but why she has to be right, I could have just stuck to the... Is it that she's, she has a good business going on? Mm. Do you understand mm. that? I shouldn't have even brought the first one up. Mm. And I took it back. And when mm. I came on the show, I felt very corrected. Like, wow. Mm. I shouldn't have yes. even thought about her husband mm. yes. first. Mm. I think the first thing I should have thought of first was like, oh, I think she has mm -hmm. a very good business, you know? Yeah. But the thing is, I never thought about her sleeping around. Even mm. if I thought of anything, it was her husband. Yeah. Do you get what I you mean? Think? So I think a lot of men need to upgrade. Okay, do you think it's like an African thing? No, it's all yeah. over the world. It okay. is. Because in Africa, if you get an apartment and you're not married, hmm. and you, yes, they'll say, okay, she's sleeping around. Mm -hmm. she has she that. You yes, come, you, you can't rent my apartment you. unless you have an, you, you're you married. Oh, and it shouldn't be that way. If you're successful, if you I mean, can be celebrated right as a woman. The security guard has been trying to find my husband since. So every time if guests come, say, your husband, I'm like, eh, which one? Which one? Where I don't have... Then another one, oh, your husband... How many men come to your house that your security is looking for? I have friends now. Most of my friends are even guys, even. But once you see somebody that maybe looks nice or dresses, I don't know. They just quickly want to attach me. Yeah. I think he cannot fathom the idea that I'm responsible for myself True. and that I'm responsible and for my phone. To you, so there must be an ogre on, on top. That is definitely just Africa. That you don't see is that outside. Africa? Oh yes. Nobody cares if a young girl abroad rents you, a house, hmm. and drives a car. No, no, that one is no, women. No, nobody no, cares about that one. We're talking about actually make this being able to afford like certain ourselves. things is global. Hmm? Being able to afford certain things, mm -hmm. it's global. Yeah, but if there is still, I, I still think there's a there's a there's a limit to it. There's an there. there's an extent, and I, and I mm. Africans are leading Extreme. that yes mm -hmm. extremity yeah and the other part of the conversation she that said um she's using the bag to intimidate other women what do you think about that hmm? she's okay. using the bag to intimidate other women it that is pressure a like pressure. pressure yes um i think um we we've always said it on this table that look you need to stay off social media it's not for the faint hearted <laughs> you get me? yeah if you hey. feel like you're going to be even at that one ah i've always said it i drive the worst car amongst all my friends <laughs> do you understand oh, wow. yeah most of my friends drive very nice, but I'm not pressured. It doesn't mean I will not drive to your house the mm. next weekend and chill with you. At least you it doesn't mean you're not, I actually, will you're not actually not gonna to go and visit your friends. And, you know, there's also that one. So mm. I feel like you know one thing. Eh? Count your blessings. Yes, man. absolutely. Yeah, because believe blessing. it or not, there's women on this social media doing the same acting that she's doing that have four or five Birkin bags and nobody has heard anything. I mean, this could be absurd. Mm. Mm. But at the same time, I'm very much allowed to front and flaunt about anything that I choose. Mm -hmm. We've had this conversation a lot of the times, mm -hmm. even with relationships, mm -hmm. that should we put our boyfriends or our fiancés or our husbands or our children's faces? Absolutely. And then some people would, dis they would say, never, ever, ever, it's just for my business. I don't want my personal life to be involved. While some people, that is all social media is for, to share their personal life. So I think she can share what she wants to share. It's up to the woman to decide. Face your front, or more. If you cannot afford the Birkin bag, God will do it for you. <laughs> I'll try harder. But I, that's why I said. Straight bone. Exactly. I really like the way she responded. I don't know if, because she has more responses that we haven't even touched on. Even when they said something about all these women that are sleeping around, blah, blah, blah. She said, let them continue to do what they want to mm -hmm. do. And I think I, 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 I respect that. Like, as long as everyone is doing the one that makes them comfortable, it's one life. You own it, nobody else. If she wants to use her money to, to like, for all you know, this person could have eight, the eight millionaire that she's on her back could be 1% of her account. And the eight millionaire could be, 
that she's left with 200k now. Only God knows. But either way, she's a grown oh, woman. She decided to buy the bag, mm -hmm. and she's proud of herself with that, and she wants to celebrate herself with that. There's nothing. There's nothing big about I that. I saw someone asking, uh, where do you have your house? Where do your parents live? Mm. Where do you know? I saw that in the comment section, and I'm mm. like, okay, okay, okay. What do you think about that, Ifed? Do you think that your entire life, um, family be... relates, relations should be comfortable before you spend a dime on yourself? <laughs> well, um, not uh, family. I think your future should be guaranteed before you spend mm. relevantly on yourself now a bag you're not like you said you can't leave you can't sleep in the bag so if you're still renting an apartment <laughs> like she has an eight million there okay. bag says you're not smart mm. Mm -hmm. i feel you okay mm -hmm. that's a point that's a point mm -hmm. all right let's move on to the next conversation nigerian rapper ilbis has been made to feel the heat after his comment on burner boy's greatness and it did not go down well with some people the rapper, whose real name is Toby Chuko Melving, AGO4, had tweeted in favor of the two-time Grammy-nominated artist Burner Boy. He wrote, and I quote, two Grammy nods in two years. Are we finally settled on who the greatest is? Question mark. Big congratulations to my bro, at Burner Boy. You are beyond a spaceship. Your craft is second to... <laughs> Go under this post to drag him. Going on at the post, you can see that he was dragged for his opinion. A few Twitter users reminded the music entrepreneur, come uh, actor, that the Grammy does not necessarily confirm greatness of an artist. The rapper, however, struck to his guns and replied, your business and opinion totally. Still the most recognized music trophy in the world. And just to add in there that the comments that the person made for him to respond to that was him using um, what's it called, Tupac. That Tupac is... Uh, is um, referred to as the greatest rapper in, um, what's it called, in the world, but he doesn't have one Grammy. So you having Grammys does not mean, that's what this um, Twitter user is trying to allude to, that you then having a Grammy award does not mean that you are the greatest rapper, but he's still saying, I, sa I said what I said, mm -hmm. basically. Well, so I think um, a lot of people are blinded by their hate for a certain individual that they forget that there's certain achievements that shows your success in a certain industry. Now, for instance, if I win um, uh, certain prizes, right, or certain awards, I begin to know that I've got into a certain level in media. By the time um, a singer starts to win, the, or look, okay, let's say by the time an actor or an actress starts to win the Oscars, you, they know that, yes, I'm beginning to get the recognition I deserve. So, uh, in as much as we might say Bonner Boy doesn't have the best character, is it the most decorated artist presently? when it comes to nominations. <laughs> Did you get that? Is it the most decorated when it comes to nominations? He has been nominated for the biggest musical award twice in a row. It means he's doing something right. Mm -hmm. So can we just stick to the fact that, yeah. But you think the what greatest, though? Hmm. Oh, wow. We I'm have glad life. you said this, power because I was coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Do we use now? His choice of word is what? made this whole post very very funny and made those people come for him like calling him the greatest are we now settled like anyone so was we arguing with say one of the greatest G -g 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 and does grammy make you the greatest no. is what the people are saying i know does grammy win if you say bonner boy won last year winning this year you get oh man the greatest <laughs> not you want to tell me no. it's the next thing i, I like that you mentioned you, <laughs> me you, you mentioned in the beginning of your conversation which i completely agree to that these are words show that you're being it makes a person feel like I've, i'm being recognized for my mm -hmm. effort yeah. i think that's where it stops i think that's what all the awards do they recognize greatness they don't identify and crown greatness True. because just because you haven't identified mm. me does not mean that i'm not yeah. the greatest yeah, like what we talked about on monday of them not picking um, yeah, better singers and yes. the weekend doesn't mm -hmm. mean the weekend do is you not know great. how many people like i have a friend he's on i don't i like give you a shout out I give a shout out. Love it. His, his guy is very good at finding. He's a, he uses SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. He will find the most random artists that have fire songs. Okay. And there's heaps of them. There's a whole world. They call it the underground or whatever. There's a term for them. Underground people who are doing their thing, steady giving you back to back 
so like rich music mm -hmm. and they have no noise no streams no social media presence no award well, none of that so what that did does you do not with mean the that them? he puts them on social media and we vibe to them there's a few mm -hmm. of them i've brought one person to the show that's how i met him actually okay you know the person i'm talking about that performed here from abuja to the ranking yeah, yeah yes yeah, yeah. that guy was i i still his music today i would say his song let me know even cap now because i really love the videos all his songs the, that guy's songs are still better than the videos i would still choose that that song but nobody knows who he is mm -hmm. so for me and, and that's why i like the response to the twitter user that said tupac let's even leave the video and zin ranking and all the little people in nigeria and burner boy tupac is unarguably nobody can argue on this table that tupac ain't it True. He was a legend. He started something that nobody else has been able to even finish. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. he's never been, he's never won one Grammy. Mm -hmm. Are you going to mm -hmm. take away mm -hmm. from that fact? So my problem is how this conversation is even brought into play. If you are going to talk about Burner Boy's greatness, which we should, because I yes. think he is great. He deserves, it is not Grammy. Yeah. They're going to use to, yeah. to, to use that fire, which is yeah. where I would criticize um um, Lil, um what's his name Lil. But Lil he's Blitz. the greatest when it comes to nominations. Uh -huh. yeah. You say that, and you not can't saying, say like, that. He's the greatest um, yes. artist. Yes, because I think Whiskey yeah. is more decorated when it comes to wins yes. mm. than David Doe and Bonner Boy combined. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of nominations, okay. Bonner Boy is leading because mm -hmm. Whiskey has gotten Grammy nomination, but not for his body of work. Mm. This guy has gotten it for his own original no. body mm -hmm. of work. I mean, even twice. this year's category is, is big. This oh, like yeah, album of the on. year, that's mm -hmm. it. That's and it. I think it's still top in the charts. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, and it's still number one mm -hmm. on the most streamed African mm -hmm. album. David Owens is catching he up. Nigeria has carried all, all the awards. All, everything is so, finished, everything. Yeah, so, so... We can have the conversation that mm -hmm. he's great, but are we going to say that he's the greatest because That's, he was nominated? No, no, uh -uh. no. Grammy shouldn't be the... And then I'm, I, well, another lesson I took away from this is humility because mm. every artist wants to feel like they are the greatest, they are True. the best. He who bleeds is an artist. He's, I mean, been, he's been in the uh -huh. industry for a while. He did not come out to say that after me, Bonaboy is the greatest. True. Do you understand? Mm. Some other person would have capped it that mm. way. Do you understand? But he didn't do that. So, so I, I, I just think it's a thing of real recognition, and I really admire that about him, that look, the sky is big enough for everyone yeah. to fly. So everybody that, to celebrate yeah, your brother, so yes. you can still come out to celebrate other people okay. and not be scared that you, you are going to look like you're not working. Mm. Because if we want to look at it, I can be like, what's the last you believe? Contain, I don't land, don't land you. That's the last song I, I will know, give I just you. Felt and like I know he has recent body of work. True. I don't know. I just felt like his write up was a bit too, uh, a bit of a ass. Mm, ass his choice, yeah, choice of words, his choice like, of yeah, words were yeah, wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. His yes. choice of words were wrong. Well, but was he trying to make sense? Yes, he yes. was. But did he make sense? No, he please, didn't. Please, give. Yeah. Uh, and we please, do agree that. Please, please acknowledge. Yeah, yeah, I swear, acknowledge the man. Yeah, because people are just going to shout in the middle. Yeah. Anyway, it is. Contain and land, but I bore you. <laughs> it is no secret that Thanksgiving this year in America, obviously, we don't do Thanksgiving in Nigeria. This year was different because of coronavirus. Whether you enjoy the family festive virtually or had a small gathering with people you already live with or cooked a small feast for one, the general consensus from the CDC was to keep things tight this year and limit interactions with people who aren't from your immediate household. Like, looks like Cardi B missed the memo because she hosted nearly 40 people. We cannot admit that that's a crowd. And this was, at, you know, at her place in a blatant disregard for health guidelines. On Twitter last night, Cardi B wrote that she had 12 kids and 25 adults over the holiday. It was lit. Naturally, this upset a lot of followers who didn't have the luxury of spending time with their loved ones this year in the interest of being safe and slowly spreading the, obviously spreading the virus. Under her post, one user wrote, bragging about your large gathering during a pandemic to your millions of impressionable fans who do not have the money that is that you have to get rapid tests is irresponsible. Shortly after other follows, other follows suit. Just before I even let anyone can in, so because we're running out of time, so everyone just say what they want to say quickly and, and then we wrap up. I think it's okay to understand that this life ain't in no balance. Mm -hmm. Fingers mm -hmm. are not equal. equal. It's like catching feelings of other people's privileges. We're all natural. I mean, it's all, it's, all, it's a natural thing. We're all humans. And I'm not going to lie and sit and say, I've never done it before. Okay. But I like to catch myself and not go and tweet and embarrass myself. Mm -hmm. There's some people that have not worked a day in their lives and they have everything that I'm struggling to, to achieve. Mm -hmm. If this babe has enough money to get all her family members, her own family members, not a concert, her mm -hmm. family members, 
mm. to then you know get them tested. She get she says she even got them tested more than once One. or mm -hmm. twice in a week. She spent a lot of money. Spent she a even, lot of money to even, make sure that yeah. things were safe. Yes, it was a a brag or whatever, mm -hmm. but she's allowed to do that. She's not working, shaking her bum bum, doing wrap up and down, so that she'll still be poor. My yeah. baby's trying to hustle, mm -hmm. and if her if her hustle is showing up. And she wants to share that yeah. beautiful time of, of the year with her family. I think she can do so. And which is why I liked the response. Because she was apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. And after a while, she just stopped and she was like, you know what? It seems like everyone's just going to catch feelings mm -hmm. for whatever they want to catch feelings for. I'll do what I want to do. So I, I'm, I'm with her on this one. Yeah. Your thoughts? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where to start mm. with this one. Fine. It's kind of insensitive to some people that they can't afford the test. But this corona um, period, I think you it made her miss her family. And if mm. she wants to get a family gathering, why are we condemning her for that? Mm. They try to be safe, they conducted tests. They're not spreading the virus, so why are we condemning her? Okay, so I think um, this still boils down to put on too much pressure on celebrities. The fact that I'm a celebrity or I'm a public figure doesn't mean I'm responsible for your life. Mm. Live your life responsibly. It doesn't mean that because I had a family gathering, they invite you for one, they did not pay you money to get there, stay, and you show up and you say, Caddy did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. You're going to be in your wet ass pee by yourself. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Uh -huh. Oh, did I just say that? Okay, you're going to be in your <laughs> WAP by yourself. And then I just feel like, look, a lot of people just get in their feelings, like you mm -hmm. said, over people's privileges. And then you see some people who go after the copy sister, I mean, the Ote Dollar sisters as mm -hmm. well. You know, you hear people talk about, but it's not about, I think you should use some people's blessing as a reference point for you to be blessed as well and not use mm -hmm. it for an opportunity for you to hate and others. Mm -hmm. Because if she said she got people, okay, look, it's it's different from a, our, okay, can you give us a classic example from the one in Nigeria, which was um, Funke Akindele's mm -hmm. case? Okay. And that was, yes. was involved. Mm. Now, that was the peak of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you gathered a lot of people you that you without, getting them, without <laughs> getting them tested. Okay. And these are celebrities that traveled the world. Mm. Do you understand? So, when you're talking about the height of irresponsibility, mm. you get that is it. I think this conversation... But this one, this person still went a step further to mm. make sure that everyone was safe. Mm. And the fact that I decide to share my good time with yeah. my people on social media, as long as they are good, then we're all good. Yeah. I mean, responsibility and insensitivity, I think, is also like the summary of this. Was she responsible? Yes. Can you argue that she was insensitive? I guess, I guess so. so. But that's the, that's the consequences of being a celebrity. Everyone yeah. is going to expect more from you. And I think every celebrity knows that. So whoever, however you want to handle it. Celebrity is not your dad, you. <laughs> however you want to handle as a celebrity however you want to have your brand if you want to be sensitive to the whole world go ahead if you want to have your family gathering do so but that is all that we can take for today's conversation um, but thank you so much for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at plus tv africa remember that you can catch yeah. up on our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch Tea Time on Arta TV and in London on Penn Television. A big thank you will go out to my gang, Ifalo mm -hmm. Oshike, and Eniola Bibi, and the entire <laughs> production team. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ife Omai. Adios. Thank you,